Hey guys, Zach here, coming at you with another video. So today is another Harry Potter pickups video. So today's pickup video, I'm going to be showing you Harry Potter stuff. I mean, there's not much else to it. Um, so this stuff is going to be a mod podge of stuff that I got on Christmas and before and after Christmas. So if you saw my Christmas live stream, you're going to see a lot more stuff, a lot more stuff than what you saw on the live stream. So without any further ado, Let's get to some of the items here. I'll start off with this. This, everyone, is Newt Scamander's wand. Now, if you watch the live stream, you already saw this, but nevertheless, I'm gonna take it out and show you guys. Okay, so this is Newt Scamander's wand. It is very nice looking. It's got like a little thing that's part of the design choice. I don't know why they did it, but I do like it. I do love the overall feel of the wand. It feels right, it flicks and, and if was it flick and swish no it's swish and flick it swishes and flicks right as well so that is Newt Scamander's wand I'm gonna try and get a wand display so that I can hang up all the different wands that I get um, I actually might just have me and my stepfather make homemade ones because they're not that difficult to make and also uh, the ones online are expensive so might as well just make my own with the resources I have. Next up here I have this awesome 500 piece Harry Potter puzzle. Uh, for those of you who do not know I really like to do jigsaw puzzles they are really really fun. This is based off of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Sorry for that little glare but that shouldn't disturb it too much. Um, yeah I plan on doing it. I could frame it was 24 by 36. Oh, I was completely wrong. 14 by 19. So, I could probably find a 14 by 19 frame and eventually put this puzzle in it. So, let me show you guys the books that I got next. Uh, this first one, it came, comes from my Aunt Lucy. Shout out, really big shout out to my aunt and uncle and my cousin over in England. They, like, you know, they absolutely, uh, like, adore and love the, you know, stuff I collect. And they always help me out whenever they can. Same with my Nana from England. Um... All my England family really helps me out with my Harry Potter collecting because in England, Harry Potter stuff is a little more easier to acquire uh, for obvious reasons. Um, so anyways, uh, this is an English version of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So obviously, yes, I already have the American version, but there are some differences that I'll talk about right now. Um, this could just be, be because I've had this for longer, but the gold part on top isn't as shiny on this one. I don't know if you can really tell, but... I think it's because I've had this one for longer. Um, the English version has a black spine as opposed to the American one that has yellow. Um, also, the front is completely flat and smooth, whereas this one, anything like any text in like the picture, it's raised a little bit, so it has a little bit of a texture to it. Um, and the insides is actually different. I think the font is a little bit bigger in the American versions. Like this is the American version on page 138 and 139. And then I'll open up to 138, 139. And this one. Give me a second here. This is 138 and 139. So I don't know if you can tell the difference just from this, but they are there are differences in the books. And um, it's really, really cool. So next up here, you're gonna be like, how did you not have this? Um, and it is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, the American hardcover edition. Um, I I just didn't have it. I had the I have the um, the England version. It has like the England cover and everything. If I find a picture, I might put it on the screen somewhere. Um, but I have that edition. I never had this edition. I have all the other six books in the American hardcover like format. So I wanted to get the seventh one and complete the set. And in it, because I'm reading it right now. You can probably see I got a new Noble Collection bookmark. So let me take it out quickly. I'm on chapter 10, Creature's Tale. This is the bookmark. It's like 10 bucks if, if you want to go online and get it. It's beautiful. I love this bookmark. I'm going to be using this for a long time. It is brilliant. It's great. 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 <laughs> oh my, Elmer Fudd. Great quality. Yeah, it's great quality, and you really should go pick that up, and as well as the Harry Potter books. Um, though, if you find yourself 
having a little bit of trouble reading just page after page after page of just like, you know, a long novel, then I recommend to you get the Harry Potter Illustrated Editions. This one is the Chamber of Secrets. And basically, it takes the Harry Potter books and adds illustrations to them. I'm going to show you a couple here. Um, now, there's one that, there's two actually that I absolutely love. I just have to, I just have to find it. Um, oh, found it. So, I hope the glare doesn't go bad on this one, but look at that. That is beautiful. It's during the Quidditch match that Harry gets hit with the bludger. Um, and there's one more I wanted to show. Let's hope I can find it. In a oh, did you see it? Yes, I did. Like, look at this. If I can show it correctly. Just tons of time and effort put into each of these illustrations. I'm not going to show all of them, but this is a very beautiful book. Sorcerer's Stone came out like last year or two years ago. This came out at the end of this year. Um, I said in my first Harry Potter pickups video back in like August that this was already out and I was fearing that they wouldn't make a Prisoner of Azkaban one. Well, I was completely wrong. Uh, at the time, this wasn't out yet. It came out a couple months later. So I can't wait. Hopefully, hopefully they release Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, hopefully they don't do what they did with the extended editions of the movies. The extended editions you could only get for Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. Personally, I love the extended editions. Um, I mean, I think anyone would, but just being able to watch the deleted scenes is awesome. If you can't, do, like, literally, if you guys have Freeform, which is the new, like, like, the new name for ABC Family, if you have that on your TV, watch the Harry Potter movies on there. Even though there's commercials, it's uncut. It is... Abs there's all deleted scenes in there. They're all the extended editions, even like Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half of the Prince, and the Deathly Hallows two movies. None of them are cut. All the deleted scenes are in there, and I love watching them every time they're on. So the last real book I have here for you guys to show is this one right here. It is the Case of Beasts. Explore the film wizardry of fantastic beasts and where to find them. So this book I absolutely love. It comes, it's, it's like the Harry Potter film wizardry, so there are a bunch of different things that you can take out. Be careful when you take things out, though. It can cause a little bit of damage to your pages if you don't take them out right. I figured out the hard way. Um, but, nevertheless, it does come with some really cool things. I'll show you a couple things that come with it. First of all, my favorite thing in here, it's a wanted poster of Newt Scamander, a.k.a. Eddie Redmayne. I love this poster. Uh, I'm going to try and get it framed. Even though it's a really, really weird size, it's like 15 and a half by 26 and a half. So, I got to find something that will actually fit this. But, it's still really, really cool. They also have one for the uh, character Porpentina Goldstein, or Tina Goldstein. Um, but, I just not, I'm just not a huge fan of her character, or at least how she was portrayed. Um, this one, it's a match, it's a Makuza form, uh, notice of contravention. I'm still not entirely sure what this one means. It seems like a sheet that you would fill out for, about people who are, like, being, like, arrested or, like, you know, who, who are, you know, but who are the correctional officer or something. They're like, all right, what'd you do? And, like, you know, there's, like, a penalty thing where it says loss of wand. What is it? Imprisonment, wand confiscation, and a fine. So that is actually really, really cool. Of course, I'm not going to write on it, but, you know. Um, there's this cool pamphlet that says, uh, Shaw for, shit, Sh Shaw for United States Senator, um, so he wants to be the Senator of New York, um, it's a, basically just a political pamphlet, but it's so cool, because it's, it's cool, and I love the irony that this movie came out, like, a week after the elections, or, like, a little more than a week after the elections, so it's just kind of funny to have a political figure in there. God, I love this. This is, um, it's a little thing, and it says, Witches Live Among Us. Uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen Fantastic Beasts. Um, a big problem is are these people called Second Salemers, and they are convinced that there are witches and wizards in America, which of course there are, but they, 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 you know, they haven't proven it yet, because, you know, witches and wizards are in hiding. So, look, the Second Salemers always hand out these little pamphlets, I talk about how witches are among us, how, how witches are among us, and all that stuff, and that, this is a picture, is it in here? Yeah, right here, of like, you know, the breaking wands and stuff, and it's just madness. 
but I absolutely love it. I want to make photocopies and just hand them out to people. The witches and wizards are among us and stuff of that nature. This one's really cool. It's um, a cutout of a Daily Prophet magazine. If you don't know, Daily Prophet is a magazine in England, so it's, it's in Harry Potter. Um, but obviously, Newt Scamander's English, so he comes to America with the Daily Prophet. Um, he wants, what, one of these? I'm guessing that's what he cut it out for. These, um, they look like pygmy puffs. Um, but they're called Appaloosa puff skins, but I don't know. And they have this weird crossword puzzle on the back, but, like, some of the things are slanted. Um, popular wizard town, port, port on the Caribbean, popular snail game. Uh, God of, Greek God of Love, Wizard, Characterist, I don't know, but it's really, really cool. And then the last thing is this Makuza identification card. For those of you who don't know, Makuza, Magical, Magical Congress of the United States of America, um, basically the America's Ministry of Magic, in case you haven't seen Fantastic Beasts, which I recommend you do. It's basically like a like a identification card. This one's for Porpentina Goldstein. It's really really cool. Sorry, I spent a lot more time on that than I should have. But that's all the stuff that's in this. In case, well, that's not that's not everything. There are more st the things in it. Like there are a couple maps and all that stuff. But if you want one of these, you can go to Barnes and Nobles to get it, or you know any bookstore, uh, you'll be able to find it. Waterstones, wherever you live in the world, you'll be able to find it. Um, I'll show this next. It's uh, it's my phone. But it's a Ravenclaw phone case. I really love this case. Um, the paint is starting to fade already um, because it is cheap. It isn't like an official like you know phone case, but it's a wallet case. It's pretty pretty cool, um, and it, it, it kind of like you can stand your phone up like this, and it's not like you know it's not hard to type or whatever or text. Excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. So it's really, really cool. I love this phone case. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you is this magical creatures thing. It is a Dementor, and I'm sorry, I can never do this. Um, I've done multiple takes of this, and I always have a horrible time with the glare um, on my computer screen. So um, I'm going to do this, see if it works. Just dim the brightness on my computer all the way down and show you guys. Um, so yeah, that's the Dementor. He wobbles around in there. I don't know if you could, you could probably see that. Um, cause I can't get him, let me turn the brightness back up, cause I can't get him to stay in place, so I'm gonna try and get that worked out. If any of you have any tips on how to get him to stay in there, let me know. I would love to, uh, be able to get him to stay in there so he doesn't wobble around as much, but he's still really, really cool. They have a bunch of these. They have, like, Hedwig, Dobby, uh, Gringotts Goblins, they have Hungarian Horntail, uh, you can't, Ukrainian Iron Belly, um, uh, I don't know, but I think that, yeah, they have, uh, Buckbeak, or, like, a Hippogriff, um, they have a, the Basilisk, they probably, I think they have Nagini, uh, the Snake, um, so, yeah, I just picked out, I just picked out the Dementor because I really like this figure, uh, and the Dementors are my favorite in the Harry Potter series, especially in Prisoner of Azkaban, they are scary! Speaking of Prisoner of Azkaban, I'll show you guys this next! The Marauders map. I love the. I love this thing. I love this replica. It's prop. It's probably my favorite replica. And it's as Donald Trump would say, it is huge. It's literally. It, it spans out. It's. It's massive. Um. Sorry, I'm hitting the microphone. Probably not the best thing to do, but it's very high quality. Very sturdy paper material. Um, it has like, you know, like little dots of like old marks and like ink stains and smudges giving it that old rustic feeling and I absolutely love it and it's really cool because it has a bunch of different flaps and compartments and it's really, really cool. So yeah, and again, speaking of Prisoner of Azkaban, um, there's a funny story to kind of go behind these. Um, I got these yesterday. Um, I went to Walmart to get some new headphones because my mom misplaced mine. So I, when I was getting the headphones, I saw these. Uh, well, I saw the whole series, and I was like, ah, I want them. So I picked out two. I picked out Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Being that they're my two favorite movies, I figured uh, if I were to start collecting these, I'd pick these two out first. Um, 
and I already used the ultraviolet codes, and you know they they it's just so cool. I love these. I love these. Um, and on the back, there's Sirius Black and Albus Dumbledore, respected to the movies they're in. Um, so funny story behind this one. Like I said, I was going to get headphones, and you know obviously I picked these out as well. And the the woman who's trying to help me out because the headphones like they were like locked, so I couldn't like get them and bring them up to a counter. I had to have someone assist me come and get them. So the woman she was so mean she was so so mean um you know she was like oh, hold on let me lock up and you know she, she she literally just like narrated everything she was doing to show that i was disturbing her doing something but i feel like if something's locked up i should be able to ask someone to help me with it without getting any sarcasm from it because that's the whole point right so that i can get someone so that you know i'm not gonna steal it right or, or it's just me I understand if you're in the middle of doing something, but at the same time, you've got a, like, she had a big stack of things she had to put away. I wasn't going to wait for her to put every single one away. That would have taken at least 15 minutes, and I don't have that kind of time. So, anyways, I paid, and I'm like, alright, that was living hell. I hope things get better from here. And when I walked out, um, you know, like, you know, sometimes I'm going to check your rec receipt. Um, I got the most beautiful girl to check my receipt. And check my bag and me being the confident most sensible man that I can be I forgot to ask for her number so I really did not get far at all so that's basically worthless but she was pretty and she was nice and it was all good so that's how I got these and uh, yeah that was story time with Zach everyone um, I guess I'll show you my Funko Pop figures next uh, am I missing one? Two, four, six, eight. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, I got quite a few of them to show you. Two of them, if you watch my live stream, two of them you already saw, which I'll show them first. First one here I'll show is Draco Malfoy. I'm not going to show them in their boxes because I wanted to show you more up close and in detail each figure. So this is Draco Malfoy. There's only like one little small defect on him. There's like a little chip or hole in the bottom of his chin there. But his head still turns, and it, it's all fine. I, I don't, you don't see it, so I really don't care. But yeah, Draco Malfoy and Albus Dumbledore. This is the Michael Gambon version, not the Richard Harris version. Um, everyone hates Michael Gambon as Dumbledore because he's a little bit, out, no, he's a lot of bit out of character. But I do think um, with Richard Harris, I mean, I don't want to sound mean. He was a little bit more feeble. Um, he, he was very, he was more soft and slow, and in the later movies, Dumbledore had a lot to do. He had to duel Voldemort, he had to, to, uh, what he had to do? He had to, he had to duel Voldemort, and then there's a thing he did in Half-Blood Prince, I don't even know how to explain it, but, so I'm kind of happy, I'm, I'm not happy that he died, but it is good that they got someone with a little more physical ability to do that. I don't want to sound mean, but, okay, Dumbledore ran over, but yeah, Michael Gambon, I hope they get Michael Gambon to play. Dumbledore in Fantastic Beasts. I think that'd be best because Dumbledore is so relatively old-ish when that's going on. So, I mean, I think it makes sense to me. He'll be he's at least 40 something when all this goes on. Um but anyways, um yeah, I'll show you the rest now. Um this is Voldemort, the little bald head. I wish they gave him red eyes like, you know, in the books, like he has red eyes. But nevertheless, he's still a really good character. I really like uh, how he looks. Um, I don't. I, I kind of wonder why he's posed like that. He's kind of like giving like the what the fuck pose. But um, I still like it. I still like it quite a bit. I needed Voldemort anyway, so yeah. Next up, we have Severus Snape. Um, he's not a very detailed figure, but I do have to say the layers of his clothing looks nice. You know, and his long black hair, is, it's like very straight, very sleek. His wand, his black wand. That's one thing also, like, let me pull out uh, Voldemort and Dumbledore. They paid attention to detail with the wands. Like, obviously, Dumbledore's wand is obviously the Elder Wand, and Voldemort's is obviously his wand. So I love the attention to detail they put to the wands. Um, Severus is obviously Severus' because it's black and sleek. Um, with the next character here, Sirius Black. Um, that's probably my favorite of the figures I got because of how much detail was put into him. Uh, his wand is obviously also his because it's uh, brown with lots of different markings. So, yeah, that's uh, Sirius Black, curly, 
brown hair, rugged kind of like appearance, looks like Jesus. That sounds like Sirius Black to me. Um, next up, the cutest of them all, Dobby the house elf. He's carrying his little sock, big eyes, even bigger ears. Um, I like that they actually like you know made him look different than everyone else. They looked you know they gave him more like a house elf appearance. They didn't just make him look like a human just with bigger ears. They actually like changed his appearance. So I thought that was really really cool to do for Dobby. Um, next up here, this is a Fantastic Beast figure. It's Newt Scamander with his uh, beautiful messy hair and his and his alchemy egg. Um, the only thing I found weird about him is that his wand is very yellow. I don't know why his wand is like that yellow. His wand is, I mean, it is a kind of yellowish color, but it's more brown. Like you can obviously tell that it's a little more yellow, but it's still really really cool. I love the clothing that he's wearing. Um, yeah, I do love this figure, even though you know, the wand's weird color. So, yeah. And lastly, probably the most uncommon of all these figures, because this one is a Hot Topic exclusive. exclusive. Mm. Cedric Diggory in his Tri-Wizard uniform. Um, the only thing I find weird about him is his hair. Um, his hair is very, very light. It's very, very light. It even looks darker on the box. Let me just pull it out here. All right. Ready? Cedric Diggory on the box. Cedric Diggory. Like, if I put them side by side, or let me do this. You can see the difference, right? It's not only me. I hope not. I don't want to look crazy. Well, I always look crazy, but that's besides the point. All right, guys. Um, Just a few more. Well, yeah, just a few more items. So next up, I'm going to show you guys some clothing that I got. These clothes are, I love the, I love all these articles of clothing that I got. Um, first of all, I'll show you this hat, this beanie. It's a Ravenclaw beanie. It's really, really cool. I love wearing it. I wear it whenever I go out because it's cold right now. It's like, you know, almost sub-zero degree temperatures. And it's really cool to be able to wear a hat representing my house. But the cool thing about this hat is it's also reversible. The only problem is this tag. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they put the tag on the reverse side because it's supposed to be reversible, as you can see. But it's I don't know why I don't know why they did that. But nevertheless, um, still really really cool to have a Ravenclaw beanie, albeit not not like I think it's actually official. It might be official. I might have just lied there, but it's really really cool. I love this hat. Yep. So next up, I'll show you this. Um, like the Cursed Child book, my aunt, like the Cursed Child book, my aunt gave this to me. Um, it is a Gryffindor t-shirt. It says, Property of Gryffindor Quidditch, which I myself am a Ravenclaw, um, but it's still really, really cool. I like, I, I really love the shirt too. I just got it, like, this and one other shirt I just got back because I was wearing them recently. I love this shirt. It's really, really cool. Same with this sweater. Actually, I'll show the sweater first for the other shirt. Um, this was also for my aunt. Um, where's the head hole? There it is. Yes, I call it a head hole. Don't judge me. It is a Harry Potter sweater. It has the glasses and the, and the lightning scar. It looks so cool. I love wearing it. Um, my friend Jade, uh, she's also a good Harry Potter fan, and she loves this. She like she took she complimented me on it when I wore it, and I was like, thanks. And it just looks really, really cool, and I love it. Next up, uh, my favorite shirt that I got. I ordered this online. You can go on Amazon and order it. It was pretty cheap as well. It says, Try Wizard Champion. I, mm, I, I love this shirt. I absolutely love it. As Tri Wizard Champion, obviously, and the Tri Wizard Cup on it, I, I, I can't get enough of the shirt. I want to wear it every day, but I can't. It starts to smell. But nevertheless, great shirt. If you want to go online and get it, go to Amazon. It's an amazing shirt. Keep note, uh, you might want to order a size bigger because this size, like this shirt, like it feels small. I don't know how to explain it, but it does feel a little bit smaller than expected. So if you want, you know, you might want to get a size bigger. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't not fit me, but it feels a little small. And, oh, shit. Did not mean to put that on that. Oof. All right. So, next up and last for the shirts, uh, or really clothing in general, 
I got a Harry Potter Triwizard Jersey shirt. Now, you if you've known me, if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that I already have one of these in my collection. Except the one that I have was the official Harry Potter shirt. And this one is made by Cine Replicas. Let me pull out the bag here. Made by Cine Replicas. And they make replicas of clothing and stuff from movies and whatever. And the main reason I got this was for this. The Harry Potter store version doesn't have Potter on the back, which I don't know why. And also, I kind of do like this shirt a little bit more because of this. And also because this feels more like a shirt. The one that the Harry Potter store sells feels more like a sweater. Like, if you could tell the difference between a long sleeve shirt, a regular long sleeve shirt, and a sweater. That's, that, that's basically the difference. Um, you know, one feels more thick, more heavy, and then this one's a lot more light. So, I like this one a lot more for that aspect. And, yeah. So, I got two more things to show you guys. Um, this first one. It's a banner for Ravenclaw, House Pride, Ravenclaw. But, when I got it, I did not realize how massive this thing was. It's freaking massive. It's so big. Don't turn that into a meme or whatever. Um, but yeah, and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna try and hang it up in my dorm. The only thing is my dorm room has very strict rules about the type of material that you can hang up. So I hope I can get away with this. If not, I'll be a sneaky little bugger and put it up anyways. And the last thing I want to show you, I'll move this way. And I'll put it up right here because it'll be very hard to show otherwise. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them poster. It's a pretty big poster. I think this one was 24 by 36. Um, but nevertheless, it's such a cool poster. Um, as my voice cracks, love it. Uh, but I'm gonna, this one I'm gonna hang up in my dorm because I know that movie posters and stuff like that are okay to hang. Um, so this is definitely going to my dorm. Can't wait to put it up. So, uh, this video, at least on my, like, timer, it's quite long. Um, I apologize for it being long, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure, if you want to see more Harry Potter content, to subscribe and all that good stuff.